What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to show you two different ways on how to create a lookup table in Adobe Premiere. The content we're about to work on may be sensitive to some, so viewer discretion is advised. Today we're using an image found on Flickr by Serkan Gulsin, who resides in Turkey as it states on his Flickr profile, so be sure to check out some of his work. The subject in the image that I'm using for today's color tutorial appears to be homeless, and unfortunately his appearance is probably due to severe malnutrition and rough living conditions. It is important to state that life is full of unexpected circumstance. Not everything you find in this world is positive, and amidst this beautiful world that we live in, there is tragedy and misery. So this tutorial can be summed up as art imitating life. Given the imagery, I believe an apocalyptic lookup table is probably more fitting for this shot. So one way to create a lookup table in Premiere is to use its Lumetri tools. In the effects tab, you can find Lumetri presets where you can embed a flavor lookup table. Just drag any preset onto your footage and a color profile will adjust the look of your shot. To control Lumetri's color settings independently, go to the browser menu in Premiere and select the window tab. Then scroll down until you see Lumetri color. Once the panel is open, here you can adjust the white balance and settings to your taste. Again, I'm going for a dystopian feel, so greens in the shadows and reducing the vibrance and saturation is key. Once you have the look you're aiming for, select the Lumetri Color Settings tab in the control panel, located on the upper left side of the panel. You can then export the settings as a lookup table by using either .look or .cube and save to your preferred LUT folder for later use. A second way to create a lookup table for Adobe Premiere is to create your look using Adobe Photoshop. Under the preview window is a plus sign icon, also known as a button editor. Select this option and a slew of video functions will appear. Choose the icon that looks like a camera and drag and drop it next to your playback settings. Find a section in your footage or image that is clear and sharp for best reference. Select the export frame button, or in layman's term, the camera icon as stated before. Choose DPX as the format option. Why DPX over JPEG? Simple. Data information. DPX is considered to be on par of that of EXR and TIFF formats, which are lossless and uncompressed images, which helps retain more data and color information. Now let's go ahead and rename the file reference DPX image and save it to a LUT creation folder or wherever you like in your project management folder system. Now open Photoshop and select the DPX file you created. I'm not going into detail as to how to create a lookup table using Photoshop. You can watch my video on how to create a lookup table using Photoshop. So be sure to watch that tutorial first before continuing on with this one. I'm going to go ahead and make similar color choices as before. Once finished, go to File in the menu browser and choose Export. Then scroll down to Color Lookup Table and select. Make sure the quality is set to 64 high and choose only Cube in the formats and hit OK to save your lookup table to the same LUT creation folder or wherever you like. And now you can open that same file in Adobe Premiere by opening the Lumetri Color Panel. Then select the Creative tab. And then open the Look tab. Choose Browse and grab the lookup table you created and open it. You will see your preview window update with the LUT you created. You can also use the Intensity slider to adjust your lookup table to taste. And there you have it. Two ways to create a lookup table in Adobe Premiere. And if you would like for me to use your image stills or footage for my next tutorial, please comment in the description below. And to learn more tips, tricks, and techniques, don't forget to subscribe.